I take one look and think, how did I get myself into this? It all started with the restaurant recommendation. The next thing I know, I am on this boat, on this fjord, here in Norway. The scenery is absolutely breathtaking, of course. But something keeps popping up in my mind. That film from 2022, The Menu. That is our destination floating in the distance. But first, we are told a little stopover to get to know each other on a sparsely populated island. The soft meditation music in the background tells me that my experience is beginning. It opens with a drink. This is a cider from a company called Edel. The couple who made their first cider 10 years ago for their wedding, basically just for fun, because they wanted to uh, talk about it when they got old. It was such a hit, they made a business out of it. I don't drink cider too often, but this is incredible. Our first snack honors nature's diversity. It's a cone filled with vegetables, herbs and citrus emulsion. It's light and crispy and very appetizing. Our second snack is a tribute to an old Scandinavian tradition. It's grilled brioche topped with cream made from smoked cadro and grated scallop roe. The apple cider really balances the smoky sea flavors. Excellent pairing. This has been great, but now it's finally time for the main event. First, some introductions. This is Nico from Denmark. He is the front of house specialist responsible for the service side of things. Nico's wife is Annika Madsen. She is the head chef. Her first head chef role was at Roxy in the five-star hotel Herman K. Then in 2020, Annika moved to the restaurant Fassen Garden in Copenhagen. Here, she has the freedom to create a menu led by sustainable, seasonal ingredients from local farmers and fishermen. It's a concept she falls in love with. A few years later, she has the opportunity to do the same thing here, in the middle of nature. She jumps at the chance. Now, Nico and Annika live here on this island with five other restaurant staff. There are no road connections and it's only accessible by boat. This group seems committed, that's for sure. But then again, they have only been open a very short while. Today is their third day of business ever. So we are back on the boat. The closer we get to this strange building, the more curious I get. It was finished in 2022 as an exhibition center for the Norwegian aquaculture industry. It's 25 meters long and weighs more than 1,200 tons. More than 9,000 steel plates cover it like fish scales. It's the world's largest floating art installation and home to our restaurant for today, Iris. We arrived to the same comforting music we heard at the boathouse. It's slow and melodic, creating a calm, peaceful space. That movie, the menu, comes rushing back as the door closes. Suddenly, we are in complete darkness. No one says a word. What's going on? I see things hanging down from the ceiling, but I have no idea what's happening. Suddenly, the video starts playing. And soon, their mission becomes clear to create a sustainable world to food in the service of nature. The 18-course menu presents ideas to see our biggest food challenges in a new life and focuses on the untapped potential of the ocean. It's time for our next snack and our first lesson in ecology. Welcome uh, three meters under the water. Here you're going to have uh, your first serving. The dish is called unification with cap and sea urchin. Sea urchin is an invasive species that feeds on kelp forests underwater. By eating more sea urchin, we can help the important kelp forests survive. The host tells us to choose a hanging kelp cracker to unite with sea urchin. It was salty and acidic with a great crunch. I could eat this anytime. Then, a quick view that pinpoints the different producers that supply the restaurant. We are in Hardangen Fjord, the second longest fjord in Norway. The suppliers are all from the area. It's an amazing system that is connected only by water. We are shown to our table. The 
furniture and table settings are really beautiful. Pure Scandinavian quality. The wine list is premium, as you might expect. My eyes suddenly stuck on an item which I wanted to try for a very long time. This is a special Cru Claude de Meunier 2008. And I also go with the wine pairing. The first pairing is a champagne from Bonnet Ponson. They are a small producer from Chamery in France who use only organic farming methods. Our first course is called Coat of Arms. It's mahogany clams, herb emulsion and Norwegian tomatoes. It looks like a flower bed and I feel a bit bad destroying this presentation. The dish is rich and aromatic. Tremendous flavors here. Feeding future. It starts with a showpiece of four sustainable proteins. This will make the cream for our dish. It's yeast, insects, mycelium and algae powder. The breaded salmon is a 10 out of 10. I have never had this small size of salmon before. Brilliant idea. They use the salt bravely here and it's bloody delicious. Color blind. It's a witch style white salmon with bird sap and elderflower. I'm stunned. This dish was so good. The acidity is incredible. It's paired with the natural wine from the Auvergne region of France. This wine is aged the traditional way in amphora and it has really strong notes of elderflower. Well matched. Next level neighbors. It's Nordic Blini with fresh shrimp caviar and blackcurrant leaves. There is something special about the shrimp. The cold water fattens them up and fat means flavor. The caviar wasn't dominant. It was more like a spice. I love this dish. It's paired with an other natural French wine. I'm not a big fan of these wines and I didn't love this one either. At the halfway point, I can say the kitchen is strong. They are consistent in exceeding my expectations. The service side has still a room to grow. Everyone is kind and enthusiastic. The service get clumsy at times, and this means small things get overlooked. There is a lot of weight on the service team. I think with time they will grow to the level of the kitchen. Let's not forget, this is only their third day open. And what a challenge it must be to find people to work here in the far, far away. From zero, to hero. It showcases two heroes found in nature. The first is Lampsucker, the fish that cleans salmon. The second is Oyster Mushroom, it can clean up oil spills. In this dish they meet with Bourbon Blanc, pointed cabbage and new peas. Very strong acid profile and good balance. I feel the kitchen is really putting on a show. Next we move to the very comfortable sofas. Our next dish is made of ingredients sourced within 500 meters. The idea is to be more aware of the food sources available. 70% of the earth is covered with water, but only 2% of our calories come from the ocean. This course is smoked blue mussels, seaweed and beach crab. The plate is very interesting. And then, voila, the light comes on. Beautiful. This is an intense and exciting dish. I like the way Chef Annika cooks so much. I think she will win a lot of awards. The pairing is Krug Grand Cuvée. No words needed. We are moving again, this time to the terrace. We arrive to a grill party. It's like coming to an old friend. The meat is already cooking on the fire, ice cold beer in the bucket. This is something I absolutely didn't expect. We are told to sit back and relax for 10 minutes. The atmosphere is friendly, the view is stunning and the weather is beautiful. It is really easy to do that. For our next course, we try authentic Viking food, grilled flatbread and dried meat. And we have a beer. It's a luring peach pilsner that combines the crisp beer with a hint of juicy peach. This is a nice moment. Our next course is called Weeds of the Sea. Squid and cuttlefish numbers have been going up since the 50s. They are called the weeds of the sea because they grow fast and adapt to changes quickly. Here we have thinly sliced Norwegian cuttlefish cooked in dashi butter with kelp and unripe strawberries. This plate is beautiful. I know I'm saying it over and over, but this is very, very strong. The depth of flavor, the technical skill, 
This is perfect. The pairing is from Alexandre Bain. It's a natural white wine with mineral, fruity and salty notes. Our next course is called Change of Heart. In this course, they open our eyes to the world of wild game as a way to fight climate change. Did you know that reindeer and roebuck produce CO2 levels 50 times lower than beef? This dish features a tatar of reindeer heart, grilled leeks and pickled capers. This chef cooks like very few I have seen. Every dish is exciting. Next, we choose a blade. The knife maker is a gentleman in his 70s who finds wood in the nearby mountains and creates knife handles from it. Horn to hoof. Our main course features reindeer again. The first serving is baked tongue topped with shredded reindeer heart. The texture is out of this world. On the plate is a reindeer fillet with fresh raspberries and the sauce of pepper and mustard seed. If I had to name a restaurant, where I ate significantly better dishes, I couldn't. It's paired with an elegant Pinot Noir from Burgundy. It comes from the main Remy Yobard. This is an organic wine and all of the work is done by hand. Our first sweet course is hazelnut ice cream and caviar with spruce shot and pine. Ice cream sandwich with caviar. Bullseye. I would never have thought that this local thing can be this strong. It's paired with an ice cider. This is a new trend of making cider with the same process as ice wine. Lots of sweetness together with a fantastic acidity, lots of complex flavors. Very good length and intensity. The cider we had in the boathouse was very good. Now we got a sweet wine from the same producer. Our next sweet course is a tribute to the great mountains we can see from the dining room. They are called mom and mother. The dish is a rhubarb sorbet with salted oat crumble. The green coloring comes from pine. It's beautifully creative to show the topography of the mountains nearby. The flavor is next level too. The ice cider goes even better with this dish. The acids come together perfectly. We also learn to speak like a Norwegian. There is a famous saying, ut patut aldri su. It means out on a hike, never sour. There are 20,000 kilometers of marked trails in Norway, and hiking is said to be nature's best stress relief. It's back to the roof for a digestive. Chairman's Reserve Rum from San Lucia. We still have one course to go. It's called Tribute to Rosenthal. It's in honor of their closest neighbor, the town of Rosenthal. Population 804. This course is a pot of the fruit with roses and white forest berries. It's super sweet and intense. Last but not least, we have the Perry Force. A small rum truffle with Norwegian rum and bitter cocoa and cake made from roasted almond flour, creme fraiche and blackcurrant. The bitter balances nicely with the sweet cake. Excellent finish to an amazing dining experience. It's only a matter of time before this place gets the attention of the world. I think all the lists and awards will be lined up. From the boat trip, to the light show, to the concept teaching sustainability, this restaurant radiates unbelievable vibes. Add this to a super strong kitchen, an outstanding audiovisual and gastronomic experience. All I can say about Iris is, oh my God. And that does it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, hit subscribe. See you next time. You can call me stupid.